Well, hello, friends. It's Pearl of Wisdom here, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Be Pal Picks Edition. And don't think that just because hockey season's coming to an end that there isn't money to be made on my Be Pal Patreon. Go check it out if you if you want to. If you want to give it a try for a month, I'll give it to you for free. If you get in now, next year, next year's uh, hockey will go up in price. It goes up in price every year, except yours won't because you'll be in now. So it'll never change. We have people that are getting do, paying like $15 a month uh, instead of $25 right now. Uh, next month, it'll probably, I don't know what it'll be next year. It could be $35, could be $40, something like that. But it goes up every year because money is made every year. Although money was not made yesterday, I was horrible. I had to go to the, uh, I had to head off to the, uh, is this working? Yes, okay. Uh, I had to head off to the uh, Perlos House of Spank. And uh, today I'm going to do that. I have an appointment, uh, which is why I'm in a hurry right now, because uh, that, that often can take quite some time. And uh, it's tough to get in, even for me, the owner. It's pretty tough. It's busy. Highly recommend you go check it out. Perlow's House of Spanking. It's the best there, I said it. And right beside it, of course, is uh, Chinky's House of Yoga and Pilates. Go check her out. Ask for Poon. Tell her Perlow sent you. And uh, in the back, you can learn how to do the Perlow dance. Yeah, Perlow dance classes every Wednesday night at 7. Okay, let's look at our picks from last night because we have we don't have much time here. And for subscribing, of course, you'll get the Pearls of Wisdom necklace. You know, you know all that. But uh, hit, hit the subscribe now. That would be awesome. That helps out a lot. You can get this fine programming almost every day. Yeah. Okay, Toronto versus Montreal. Uh, I'm going to uh, – Montreal's getting uh, – let me go over here to where it is. Uh, first of all, it's game seven. Uh, I'm really surprised by, I mean, Toronto never ceases to surprise me. I, I wasn't a big fan of their de- defensive depth. Uh, and I didn't think they were going to make it past. Uh, I, I didn't think they were going to make it past the North if they won the North because of it. But they're, they are one of the most voodoo teams I have ever seen. Uh, the spread, I'm looking up the spread. You're getting 174 from Interlops or Intertops and uh, Caesars Palace. Oh, wow, lots. Westgate, go over to these sites. You get 174 for the puck line on Montreal. Why not? I, I don't understand why they're getting, why they're get, why Toronto's giving up so much juice on this game. You get half your money back for a team. That is has historically caves in the first round. Uh, also, they're injured. They have Muzzin out, and I didn't really like their defense to begin with. I mean, I think it's a really good chance you could just go with the money line and take Montreal here. But if you want to be a little safer, take the PL for them to only lose by one. It's probably going to be a tight game, I imagine. Uh, yeah, I, I like the PL at 170 here all day and uh, I'll probably go the under it's not really my big bet though probably go the under at 176 uh, New York Islanders versus Boston um, like the Bo- Boston has had more rest coming into this the Islanders had a very tough series against Pittsburgh um, I'm I got burnt by the under five last time I'm not going to do it again I'm going to go over 178. That's probably my biggest. Um, I hear that they're going to try Varlam off again tonight. I haven't heard anything more on that. It, has, it hasn't been confirmed as it normally doesn't. Uh, it's just they. It's probable. Uh, possible. It's he's it, not probable. It's uh, projected. That's the word I'm looking for. Sorry, projected. The Varlamov will be in. Varlamov hasn't played very for a while. Uh, he could be a little bit rusty. We just saw what Russ can do with Laner, although he's not as rusty as Laner was. Um, and I screwed up. I was so busy yesterday. I was doing things with my family. I, I, if I would have known Laner was in, I would have switched my bet yesterday. But 
whatever happens. Um, anyways, I'm going to lean that Varlamov doesn't play much better, but does play better. Just not that much better. And uh, I'll take, uh, I'm going to take Boston here. I, I just think Boston is not going to be uh, undone by the Islanders system that they have. Um, that top line is too smart for you for the for to play to not be able to figure out uh, an aggressive neutral zone system that the Islanders put in place. Now I lo- that system has worked for a long time, but I'm starting to wonder if it's a one trick pony now, and they and it just um, they have a difficult time adjusting to anything else when they're put in that situation that they have to adjust. Um, and Bo- I, th- just Boston's team overall. I prefer their team overall. I will quickly come over here. I, I haven't had even time to look at the injury updates. I do believe I heard something that Boston may have some injuries on their blue line or one in particular. Okay, Craig Smith, is he going to be in? Let's take a look, make sure you guys can see this. There we go. Uh, Craig Smith. It's unclear, Craig Smith. I, I don't really like that because, I mean, that hurts their depth there a little bit. Kevin Miller, I think they can, they've can. they lived without him most of the year. He's just injured all the time. So he will not play game two on Monday. So I still like him, though. Let's see if, see if the Islanders had, are banged up at all anymore since the last game. Uh, Wallstrom is a big loss. Not expected to play. Yeah, so their 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 depth is out too. I'm gonna take Boston here. I I have Boston in five, so I'm gonna continue leaning uh, Boston in five. Uh, I wrote it up here. This this was my Golden Knights. This is what I do. Um, I screwed it up big time. I had Golden Knights plus one and a half, uh, and in the under. <laughs> As you can tell, but I give you usually even longer than this. But if you go to Patreon, I give you this sort of information in every uh, for every game. I do write ups for all the games. I I put in my bets. Uh, you can use it as a great tool for capping, not necessarily following every pick. However, if you do, lot this year in the regular season we were up fifty one pearls, so not bad. Uh, go ask like honest cappers if they're up 51 units at the end of a season in hockey. There's not too many, if any, that did. I know one person who didn't, and I love him a lot, is Professor MJ. He was only up like two or three. And if you follow him, Professor MJ, go check him out. He'll tell you most cappers are not plus money. So being plus money is good, and it only costs you 25 bucks a month. All right, let's get to – that's it. I got to get going. I got to go to the, my house of spank and I also have a meeting I got to get to. Have a great day, everybody. Okay. Bye.